I would say the typical student tower might be someone who says that they like GIS, maybe they've had a taste of it somewhere in a previous class. They have geography majors, political science majors, um, they might have specialized in um, environmental studies or biology. Um, we even have people in economics and healthcare, military people. In the military currently, the people can come in almost with any kind of a background because it's going to be applicable in understanding the spatial distribution of whatever it is that they're looking at. The software that we use for the most part of our program is Esri's ARC Suite, I want to call it. And so a lot of programs that are done in ArcMap and Arc Pro connect into a cloud platform in ArcGIS Online. So we incorporate all three of those. A lot of students enjoy programming and so they'll enjoy it, like the Python and the GeoDatabases course, and that's maybe the job that they're gonna be doing, maybe even writing algorithms. Other students really like the cartographic aspect. They like making maps, and so once that data is collected and put into the GIS system for analysis, they're the ones that get to manipulate the colors and the lines and the shapes, and sometimes even produce maps that'll be printed or put in web settings. Once you become more proficient in GIS, there's actually different jobs and different opportunities. Someone who really tends to like the satellite image imagery or LIDAR. They might be more interested in focusing on remote sensing. Other people really are, they're much more into the GIS where they can download data, you can get real-time data. Those people tend to become GIS technicians or analysts. We have people who really like to be out in the field and so they might be more into the data collection. It's one thing to go into the program thinking I want to be a GIS analyst but it's another thing to keep your mind open that there really are a lot of possibilities.